This is weird. This is illegal, guys. Uh, I'm professional. <laughs> this is our third Zoom of the day. Two buttons. Uh, are we shotgunning? I'm setting it up. I'm trying to kill. Oh, so that's way better, right? I'm home good. Hi everyone. I, like most people, have been doing a lot of online uh, Zooms and house parties and I don't, I don't have FaceTime so when people FaceTime me they have to call Natalie on her iPhone and then asks if I can play so it's very reminiscent of being a child which is awesome. But I am kind of obsessed at the current moment with setting up all of the equipment that I have to maximize and use as best as possible for um, for doing these either live or Zoom or or what have you. But I'm working on my audio. Uh, did a little tradesies with Stage Four Clingers, the Nichols, Claudia, and Kate Nichols. Because I'm test driving this thing that, that Kate got. I have my GH5 set up for like a main camera. I dug an old Logitech out. It's terrible quality, but I'm going to see what, what's happening. I always have had the second monitor for editing. I got a little ring light that I pulled out. Anyway, I'm just trying to put all this shit together. But there needs to be some ingenuity. So what I have been doing for uh, conferences is just pulling out this bin. Here's something that I had in my house toast. So right. some kind of storage bin, yes. It's some sort of storage bin. It's about uh, it's about twelve inches tall, and it's a great height. It's nice and lightweight, and then I get and then you have like the straight on effect. You know? I'm also using a bin, but it's labeled maternity. Oh. I think it's old clothes. Any uh, any. Uh, virus-free Amazon box will do. That has been good, like eye level communication. Got an extra keyboard there if I want to, you know, keep it that way. But this is like weird. I just keep pulling it back and down. So I'm thinking about getting a little crafty. I got some tools. I got a little bit of wood, and I'm gonna see if I can make something to replace this. Maybe something that's more like semi-permanent. Because I know for one thing, like you see the ones that you buy and they're like slanted. So like this would be a good height for for that, uh, for to sit with the monitor. But wouldn't it be nice if it were like, if it were like that? Maybe not like that, but if it were like, you know, set up in that sort of capacity, then I could, I could put stuff underneath or something like that. I'm gonna try some things. I'm gonna use that thing as a, uh, sort of a template, because it fits already, and just see what we got. So welcome to my janky workshop in uh, a hundred year old stable uh, that has no room for anything to really be done. Um, got some extra wood and uh, a uh, an unfinished light source but uh, but yeah so like I said the idea is we're gonna take this and see if I can't uh, use some of what we have to make something <laughs>
them lightly. I'm gonna see if this works. One's a little way off. I think uh, I will call this portion of the program the impatient carpenter. Although they're pretty, uh, they're they're pretty true. I wanted a bigger opening, so this might come back a little bit. This might become a little bit shorter. It's overbuilt, but I'm thinking about just slapping them on and seeing if it works, if it works. So stay tuned. So here it is, guys. I think it works pretty well. It's pretty steep, but I was, as I was, uh, I was just commenting to Natalie, the nice thing about this little uh, easel type, it raises the, it raises the view to like eye level. We can, and it's still, you know, touch screen, touch pads right there, and uh, and it's nice and stable and wide. The keyboard fits underneath of it just fine and other wires and such and then we can even take it put it in the kitchen to zoom for a cooking show uh we're not setting up on amazon boxes which is perfectly fine to do just do it yeah um i'm sorry you're not talking to me no i well i am talking to you and uh yeah so that's that's what i just made in the impatient this has been an episode of the impatient carpenter I hope you enjoyed it. Is there a light source behind you? Isn't that like 101? Like don't have a light behind you? Yeah, but look how bright. No, I need the overhead on.